May is National Stroke Awareness Month, and during this COVID-19 pandemic, experts say it's even more important that you know how to respond if you or someone you know is having a stroke. First News reporter Carolyn Sistrand has that information. My dad was a real outgoing guy, um, had a lot of energy, uh, worked really hard. He was like the foundation, the rock of our family. In March of 2015, Mark Matasic was having a typical lunch with his father, Stephen, but then something went wrong. Everything was normal. Then he started to slur his speech, which, um, you know, I, I, it was, I didn't know what was going on. It was weird. And then he started to look confused, um, like disoriented. Stephen was having a stroke, but neither he nor Mark knew that until paramedics arrived. Stephen was taken to St. Elizabeth's in Youngstown, but eventually moved to the Cleveland Clinic. He couldn't talk, eat, or even move, but he had brain function and could open his eyes. For the next year, eye movement was the only way he could communicate. He died from complications of that stroke in 2016. I don't, you know, I don't want anyone else to go through what he went through or what the family went through. Dr. Andrew Sutherland is a stroke expert at the University of Virginia Health. He says that right now a big concern with strokes is the connection between blood clots and coronavirus patients. Blood clots are one important cause of stroke uh, where it prevents blood and oxygen from getting to the brain. And so, so these two conditions we're seeing uh, may exist uh, together in the same person. Sutherland also says that research for the month of April showed that 40% of the country didn't seek emergency care when they showed signs of a stroke because of concerns over going to the hospital during the COVID-19 pandemic. Don't hesitate in an emergency condition like stroke it still is very critical to call 911 and come to the hospital. Now, Mark Matasic is a spokesperson for the American Stroke Association, wanting to help people understand the signs of a stroke and how they can find the best care possible. Carolyn Sistran, WKBN 27 First News.